Welcome Libra and cross watchers. This is your general love reading. Libra, I see that you may have been cheated on um, in the past. I see somebody's trying to work on reconciling, but I don't see you buying it. I see you moving forward to a new beginning to heal yourself. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Libra, let's get into your energy. Then we'll get into the, the 12 signs and then we'll get some Oracle cards and then get into your spread. So Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Libra. What is the energy around Libra, please? Libra, you're blocking, overcoming obstacles or standing your ground because you're feeling trapped in something. So you're, you're, you're up in your head about something, but you're feeling like you have to defend yourself. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me the energy of all 12 signs, starting with Aries, please. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, they're taking a long time to walk away. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's obsessed with wish fulfillment here. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's regretting a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Cancer, somebody's wanting to win against the burden. They want to win at all costs against the burden. If you're dealing with a Leo, Someone could be holding on to an option. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's trying to, to um, heal, to work on something. They're either, they're trying to heal from a third party or heal to work on something. If you're dealing with a Libra, another Libra, um, you may have ended something with another person to start something new. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone's very guarded about a choice. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone is up in their ego, a victory out in the cold. Very interesting energy there for Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Someone's, a, a, a decision is going to transform something. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone wants to offer that cup to their divine feminine. And if you're dealing with a uh, Pisces, someone is be they want to reconcile with you, Libra. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they want to reconcile. Hey, Libra, your energy is you feel very guarded, like you're, you feel like you have to stand your ground um, because you feel very up in your head. You feel trapped in your head about something you have to stand your ground against. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Libra, please. You got the moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Under the bottom of the deck, you have celebration. Okay, you are ready to bring in new and exciting things into your life. Okay, so you have a full moon. We're going through a full moon right now, uh, or it was just yesterday, and this is the new year. So um, pay attention to your intuition around New Year's, something you're bringing in the new into your life. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Libra, please. Libra, you got the truth and you got the gateway. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Libra, please. What does Libra need to know, please? What does Libra need to know, please? You got family and you got trust. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Libra. 
hard work is paying off and communication is key. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Libra, please. Friends, family and guides and teacher. What does Libra need to know, please? Choose your path. All is possible. And then passion and pleasure. Savor, the, savor your life. So you have some really good stuff coming towards you. You're being guided. This may be a lesson. Um, you need to have some trust. This is a gateway. The gateway to your learning or your awakening, um, you need to trust that this is the truth. Um, savor your life. You're choosing your path. Hey, you got two that wanted to come out here. Triumph and over adversity and stars. A long journey uh, begins. A long journey bring. I'm sorry. A long journey brings reward. Okay. Triumph over adversity and a long journey brings rewards. And you definitely have communication is key. And your hard work is paying off. So whatever this is, you're, you're coming full circle with something. You're standing in your power. Union. You have union and you have soli uh, solitude. So you may be in solitude right now, but you may be getting ready to go in into union with your true person you have self-worth under the bottom of the deck here pay attention to your intuition you are bringing new exciting things into your life date meeting the one dating getting back out there plans setting the date then you have acts, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So you may have left somebody to, to go into union with somebody else. So there may have been a breakup and you may be letting go of that past to have this new beginning with somebody else. But then you have twin flame under the bottom of the deck. So... I do see union here but you're going to be bringing new things into your life and you're triumphing over adversity so you're letting go of whatever has occurred and a long journey brings reward so you're going to be rewarded for this communication is key and your hard work is going to pay off here so overcoming obstacles here trust and family so there you may have a lot of family that's very supportive around you savor your life all is possible and this is this may be a lesson that you had to learn and you're being guided. The gateway to truth. So gateway and truth. So this may be an awakening for you. But follow your intuition. This is what's coming towards you. And you are overcoming something that you feel stuck up in your head about. You're standing your ground against it. Or you're blocking it. You're blocking something you felt blocked or um, held to or bound to what does Libra need to know so there's that tower moment but you have a knight coming towards you with that cup but there's somebody's out in the cold because of an ending new beginning of passion being divinely guided there you are Libra you're working on something you're being strategic about it. This is communication, possibly. Wish fulfillment and somebody's regret. The king of wands here. So what's the obstacle? The obstacle is the weight to understand what's going on. To take that leap of faith. 
You're discontent with abandonment with that. You had abandoned someone abandoning you, letting you go or whatever this is. So you're taking a leap of faith because you're unhappy with the not speaking that, you know, having to use your intuition um, about this situation. You're, you're waiting to understand things though. Why is this tower here for Libra? So somebody from the past, there was strife, jealousy, and competition with somebody from the past. And so this person who wants to be with you, they, they may have rushed towards you to speak the truth, to say that you're their two of cups, but somebody's out in the cold trying to understand something to be, they're being patient. They're, they're, you're out in the cold, you may have been ghosted, but you're wanting clarity and you're being patient till you get it. Okay, so there's an ending of the deception. So there was a sexual relationship where someone felt betrayed. Someone was backstabbed and betrayed over a new passionate beginning. So, the, but some, some, uh, there was an ending to some deception. So ending the lies, someone was betrayed by this and divine timing. Someone's going to speak that truth and divine timing. That truth is going to come out. King of swords, queen of cups. Hiding. Somebody was hiding a queen of cups in the energy um, that we had. But um, is this you or is this person you're dealing with had a secret? They were hiding the queen of cups. Someone's working on reconciling, though. And they're going to communicate to the family. This is a family situation, an emotional message to the family. King of, of, of Wands relationship. There's an ending to a relationship. Could have been with a King of Wands or it could be anybody. It, there's no sex in tarot. So this King of Wands could have been a Queen of Wands. But there was an ending to a relationship with this King of Wands. But I do have a, I do have the, um, the King of Swords up here um, with the Queen of Cups and a secret, something that's hidden. Okay, so Someone's wish fulfillment is to be single and abundant. Someone's regretting a third party situation and they want justice. But you have somebody waiting to understand. This could be you, um, Libra. If not, this is you, Libra. There, there's two Libras on the board right now. It could have been the person you're dealing with um, or it could be you. Um, but you're trying to, it looks like you're waiting to understand something about an ex taking that leap of faith very discontent about not speaking using your intuition you're very guarded and div i can't speak so you're possibly not speaking to this person okay so taking that leap of faith unhappy about that not speaking you're very guarded and defensive because there was juggling here and with a third party and you're looking at the past mistakes you're going to have a new beginning and you want to win no matter what you're making that decision to heal i'm not seeing you going back to anybody either that's something that's that's been uh kind of going with uh this week um people are not going back towards their exes even though that person's trying to work on trying to uh reconcile with you i see that you're moving on and you're going to heal so that's all I have for you, Libra. I think I'll take this into the extended and um, we'll get cards on you and your person. Then we'll get you some Oracle cards and get into your spread. So with that, if this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.